Well, I've always enjoyed sport um, at a very competitive level and um, I've only been sailing competitively for five years. Um, but I think I caught the bug uh, and just decided that, you know, if I was if I'm going to if I'm going to compete, I'm going to do it properly. And I think an Olympic campaign is something which has grown on me. Um, and I can't imagine my life without it now. Um, so I suppose I suppose it's just my love of sport and now it's my love of sailing and that's why that's why I'm campaigning full time. Basically, um, Andrew and I both um, originally were campaigning uh, with with different partners, um, but just through um, circumstances changing and um, people going different directions, wanting different things, um, we ended up just deciding to partner up and campaign together for for Rio, and uh, I, I think it was a good decision. <laughs> campaigning for a long time. Um, I started my first uh, international season was 2002, so god that's a long time ago now. <laughs> and, uh, uh, it, it's funny because I don't really know any different. I went straight from college to doing the campaigning and it's just, it's just part of my life, it's part of who I am. So why not go for Rio? Why not go for, in my view, one last shot? So I was previously sailing with um, with somebody else, and so was uh, Saskia, and um, and uh, we we just ended up. It was kind of one of those things that you know we always say to each other: everything happens for a reason. And it was one of those situations that obviously was meant to happen in our eyes, and it's just come together like that, and it seems to be working really well. So so far, it's been brilliant. Like we've been working really hard this winter. Um, training really hard because we feel like we're a bit behind everybody else so we have to put the hours in and the other thing we we we're really pleased about which we've worked on but we're really pleased to come together naturally as well is just that we get on so well we're so similar um, apart from maybe our height but <laughs> we're really similar um, and in, sometimes that's a good thing and sometimes it, it's not such a good thing but it's it's not a bad thing you know in in, in general <laughs> been really good. We've had a lot of fun, um, which we've tried to share with people, but there's been a lot of hard work and especially this winter, um, we've had to put in a lot of hard hours to catch up with uh, some girls who've been together for longer, but I've had the best time so far and I really don't want this to end. I want four years of it. been born and raised in Britain. Um, and competed for Britain for, for over 10 years. Uh, I'm now sailing for Ireland and competing for Ireland and uh, it came about because I, I didn't really have any options in Britain for this next cycle. Um, I, it was either give up sailing or switch my nationality. And um, my mother's side of the family are all of Irish heritage. So, um, and I didn't really know this until recently, but it means that I'm actually half Irish, so as much of me can compete for Britain as can compete for Ireland. Our, our story starts here in Parma, which is the first World Cup um, of the season for us, and the first of many. I think we're going to do about five, five to seven events this year, um, and it's all leading up to qualifying the nation for um, the Olympics in Rio, and that's where we ultimately want to be competing in 2016 in Rio and uh, bringing home a medal. Basically, I mean, the end goal is to be in Rio de Janeiro at the Olympic Games in 2016. Um, and right up until then, this, this journey is going to be tough. And I think we've, we've experienced some of that already. It's going to be a bit of a catch-up, fast-tracking campaign for us. We're a bit of a step behind, but we hope to just come back and level with everyone else in the next year. Um, 
and really it's a chance for us to go and represent our country um, at the height of our sport, the, the number one regatta that we could possibly go to um, and fly the flag for Ireland.